In this video we are going to learn how to compare fractions or find out which is the larger fraction. At the end of this video you will have some practice questions to do so make sure you have a go at those questions. So let's have a look at the first pair of fractions. We have a quarter and three quarters. Now this one is pretty obvious that we can see that both fractions denominator is four they both are both out of four so a quarter and three quarters we can say three quarter is larger than a quarter so this one is larger you can also write down the inequality sign to show that three quarters is larger on the second example we have two thirds and four ninths now out of these fractions we can see the denominators are different so we need to make the denominator the same first. So in this case, we will need to find an equivalent fraction. Now, if you haven't watched the equivalent fraction video, please do check it out. I'll put the link on the top right and also in the description. It will help you understand this lesson a bit better. Now, in order to make the fractions denominator same, we need to multiply the two thirds by three. So we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by three so that the fraction is out of 9. So let's go ahead and multiply by 3. Multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 2 is 6. Now that the denominators are same, we can compare the numerators to see which one is bigger. So we can see 9, 6 ninths is bigger than 4 ninths. So we can say 2 thirds is the larger fraction. So the answer is 2 thirds. So let's go ahead and have a look at these examples. So we have on the first example, half and three quarters. Now, because the denominators are different, we need to make them the same. So we can go ahead and multiply the half, the denominator by two and the numerator by two. So we can have two over four. Now we can see three quarters is bigger than two quarters. So we can go ahead and say three quarters is larger and that's the answer. Two thirds and three sevenths. Now in this case we have three and seven so we cannot just multiply one of them so we might need to multiply both fractions by. So the best way to do this if you have prime numbers then you can just multiply the fractions by the opposite denominator. So what I mean is two thirds, we can multiply the by the seven because we have a seven on the other fraction on the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply by seven. That gives us 14 over 21. And three seventh, let's multiply it by three. So that gives us nine over 21. Now we have two equivalent fractions, well two fractions with the same denominator. We have 14 over 21 and 9 over 21. And clearly we can see 14 is larger than 9, so we can say 14 over 21 is the bigger fraction. So we can say the answer is 2 thirds is the larger fraction. So 2 thirds is our answer. Let's have a look at example 3. So we are comparing the two fractions, 12 over 15 and 4 over 5. Now in this question, you can do it two different ways. You can either find an equivalent fraction of 4 fifths and then compare it to 12 over 15. So we have to times it by 3, top and bottom. Or what you can do is we can simplify 12 over 15 because when you simplify it, it gives us a denominator 5 you divide it by 3. So, divided by 3 and divided by 3. Now, 3 goes into 12 and 15 both. That's why this one works. So, that gives us 4 over 5. Now, we can see the both fractions are the same. Okay. So, 4 over 5, 4 over 5. So, we can say none of them are bigger. They're both equal. So, we can just write down the both equal. Here are some practice questions for you to try play the video, well, pause the video and then have a go at them and I will go through the answers once you press play.
Okay, I hope you had a good go at these questions. So let's have a look at the first question. We are comparing two thirds and four sevenths. So we need to find the equivalent fraction first. So let's go ahead and multiply these numerator and denominator by seven. That gives us 14 over 21. And this one by three, that gives us 12 over 21. So we can see 14 over 21 is larger, so therefore 2 thirds is larger. So it's a similar question to the other one we had. 1 third and 2 fifths, so let's go ahead and multiply by 5. That gives us 5 over 15. And multiply these to numerator denominator by 3, so we have 6 over 15. So we can see 6 over 15 is larger, so therefore our answer is the larger fraction is 2 fifths. Over here we have 8 and 5 as the denominator, so let's go ahead and time this by 5, the numerator and the denominator, which is 25 over 40, and this one by 8 times by 8, that gives us 24 over 40. So we can see 25 over 40 is larger than 24 over 40, so our, our larger fraction is 5 eighths. So always remember to write down the actual fraction as your answer. Okay, otherwise you might get marked down. On this one, we have 4 and 10, so let's go ahead and multiply this by 10. Um, then down by 10, that gives us 30 over 40, and this one by 4, that gives us 28 over 40. So we can see 30 over 40 is larger, therefore our answer is 3 quarters is larger. So 3 quarters is a larger fraction. Okay, I hope this video helps, and please do Give it a like if it helped you and also don't forget to check out the other fractions videos. The links are in the description and also on the top right hand corner. See you in the next video.